What I'm about to teach you in this video will make you look at photography in a whole different way. In my opinion, this is the best composition technique that have improved my photography and videography skills the most. So, if there's one video you should watch, it is this one. Let's begin! Sooner or later, you are going to hear someone talking about depth in photography. To someone who doesn't know what it is, it will sound like pretentious words that people use when they don't know what to say. But it is actually one of the best words I know when it comes to photography. Because depth makes your photos so much better in many cases. And it is what separates the amateurs from the pros. We'll start by looking at this picture. This is a so-called flat picture. Think of a flat picture as 2D, two-dimensional. Now, think of depth as 3D, three-dimensional, while you look at this picture. This photo looks more three-dimensional, and that is more or less what depth is. There are many different ways to add depth into your photographies. But what I'm about to teach you is the most easy and effective way to do it. Other techniques would be such things as layers, foreground and background, light, etc. But that's also another kind of depth that I will talk about in other videos. For now we will focus on the three-dimensional depth. Let's go back to the photo I showed you before. As you can see, there are lines that are leading your eyes deeper into the photo. The lines are leading towards one spot. So, if you have at least two lines leading towards one point, you will have depth. The more diagonal at least one line is, the more depth you will have. I'm going to show you how to use this technique in a practical way. Here you can see my motive, which is the train. Taking a photo from the side like this or straight forward might be your first instinct. What you should do instead is taking a photo diagonally from the side so that you can make your object more three-dimensional. As you can see that is exactly what I'm doing. I'm walking around to find a diagonal angle of the train. I'm using a zoom lens so it's kind of hard for me to find a way through this train graveyard. But that's photography you know. To get a good photo you need to solve problems and work for it. And this is the result of it. To me the second picture looks much more interesting than the first one. I said before that the more diagonal at least one line is, the more depth you will get. An easy way to make that line more diagonal is simply by taking the photo from a lower angle, like I did here. Using my so-called 3D technique is the thing that's been helping me the most when it comes to both photography and cinematography. Just having the technique in mind when taking photos is very useful. It applies to most objects and types of photography too. It's given for architecture photography, but it applies to many types of photos. Flowers, faces, cars, electronics, animals, streets and a million more types of photography. The rule of thumb that it all boils down to is just thinking of making your object look more 3D. Simple, but oh so powerful. Try it out yourself. If you're having trouble understanding this video, then just leave a comment and I will answer you. Also, tell me if you learned something from this video. And send me photos where you have used this technique. If you want to learn more, be sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment if you have any thoughts or questions. Goodbye.